So welcome back to the woodwork experience. And as you can see, we've gone through and we've got our mortise cut through our piece now. The next step is to go through and glue our two pieces together, ensuring that we don't have too much excess squeeze out and to minimize mess. Now, the products where you're gonna need for this process is your mallet head, your mallet handle, some PVA glue, and a trusty vise, which I've got right there for me. Very first step we're gonna come through and do is make sure that we've got our sides the way we want them, which is having these A's that we previously lined up or sorted out, um, lining them up together, making sure that we're happy. The next step, just in case for some reason we've stuffed up somewhere, come through, we're gonna put our handle through, align those through, and then we're gonna come back around and just make sure that we're happy with how this is fitting. And for me, I'm very content with that. If anything, this is sitting a little bit too far down the neck, but I'll fix that up at a later stage. After we've done that, we're gonna crack these open and get ready for the next step. Now, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna apply just a small amount of PVA on all four sides. Now, I'm using Selly's PVA today for a couple of reasons. Number one is because it's easily accessible from my local Bunning store. It is not the traditional glue that I'd probably use when woodworking, but it is a great glue that is always accessible and relatively cheap compared to some, or relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other glues. So it's never a bad one to check out. Now, please note that this is an interior wood glue, meaning that it's not meant to get wet. If you need something that's gonna get wet, please move to your Type Bond 2 for water resistance, Type Bond 3 for waterproof, and then, of course, moving to those epoxies for anything stronger. From here, spread this out. Now, go ahead and use a spreader. I like to use my finger because it is the spreader that God gave me. You should always ensure to, uh, it's always wisest, best practice to not use your fingers here because you don't wanna end up with some sort of reaction to the glue. Now, I'm very aware that I don't have any reaction to the glue, hence why I'm happy to use my fingers. Now, if you are running a bit short on glue, always go ahead and add a little bit extra to the top and then spread it around on any extra pieces. Now our aim here is for when we put it together to have no squeeze out going into this center joint. But we still wanna make sure that we're getting glue on in all areas. So after we've got the glue on here, we need to go ahead and we need to get our handle in here to lock this down. Now for this, I'm just gonna come through, grab my handle, making sure I've aligned it to the right side because we did go through and measure that. So that's A2 coming to this side here. I'm gonna push that through and align that there. Now we could use a vise, or we can use a couple of different clamps. I'm gonna go with the clamping option on this one. So I'm gonna grab a couple of clamps here and clamp this up. Simply what I'm looking for is to get these two pieces aligned at the same height and so that they are touching. So I'm very happy with that side there. This side's got a bit of space and I'm gonna, before I attach this one, too tightly I should say, I'm gonna go through and remove that mallet head mallet handle. So I'm just going to place this on my vise and uh, on my bench and just not move. And sometimes if you've got your piece a little bit too tight, you can have a little bit of trouble there, but sometimes it's handy to just go through and get that glued up like so. So I've loosened that off. I'm still very happy with how this is all aligning. I'm going through, checking the top and the bottom, making sure that they're very nice and neat on both sides or as close as you can possibly get it. And I'm pretty content with that. Once you get your piece nice and glued up, you wanna go ahead and leave this for a minimum of an hour and up to 24 hours. That's gonna give it that maximum bond strength. 